Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Over the last week or so, we have been uh, praying for Ukraine and we've been praying for Russia as well because there are so many wonderful pastors and so many churches in Russia that have now got caught up in a series of events that they would have wanted nothing to do with. Those pastors have always enjoyed good fellowship and good friendship with their Ukrainian counterparts. Now, uh, it was only on my second visit to Russia that I really began to understand how vast that nation is. I had flown into Moscow and uh, I preached in Moscow uh, the, the day that I arrived. And then the next day I was taken to the train station because I had been asked to go and teach some seminars in a city called Izhevsk to the east of Russia. So I get on this train and my colleague that was traveling with me, he was from the city of Izhevsk, that was his home city. And so uh, we, we got on this train and you know what? The train journey, now I've looked, on, I've looked on Google Maps and today you can do that train journey in 17 hours, but back then it was 24 hours. And so we traveled for 24 hours eastward on this train. Now, thank goodness it was a comfortable carriage because uh, we were asked if we wanted to pay an extra $50 to have a more comfortable train carriage. And I looked at some of the carriages and I immediately said, yes, please. And so we gave the $50, which went into the pocket of the member of the train staff. And we ended up traveling in this carriage at the back of the train, which was for the president of the Udmartian Republic, the, the, the region within Russia where the city of Izhevsk is. And, and this was the president's private train carriage. And uh, if you, at that time, if you paid an extra $50, you could travel VIP style. So although it was a 24 hour train journey, it was a bit more comfortable than it might otherwise have been. Now, one thing that really struck me was that as again and again, I would look out of the window and I would see these cities and I would see massive, massive tower blocks, groups of tower blocks. And, and I began counting how many floors they had and how many apartments on, on each floor. And I worked out sometimes some of these uh, some of these cities that we were passing had populations that were the size of Ireland. And we're passing these huge cities and these huge uh, pop centers of population again and again and again. And when we finally arrived in Izhevsk, and it was a wonderful church there, by the way, but when we finally arrived in Izhevsk, we, you know, I thought, my goodness, I want to see where we are on the map because we must nearly be in China by now, having traveled 24 hours to the east. And I was so amazed when I looked at a map and realized that we were only about one eighth of the way across the width of Russia. That's how massive a country it is. And we had passed millions and millions of people's homes, and yet we were only a small portion of the way across Russia. That truly was a sobering reminder of what a vast nation it is. And I can remember reflecting on all those cities that we had passed and all those millions of people that lived there. And I realized that to, for, that, for that nation to truly be touched by God will take an incredible revival. And I realized that we need to pray for Russia. You know, just following normal evangelistic strategies is never going to reach such a vast nation. It needs a mighty move of the Spirit of God. It needs a heaven-sent revival. And I have been praying for Russia all the years since then for God to send such a revival across the Russian nation. And I'm going to pray for that again now and I invite you to pray with me. Heavenly Father, I just pray now for the nation of Russia and I pray, Lord, that you will sweep across that land in an unprecedented move of the gospel. And I pray, Lord, that even the current events and how they are affecting people's lives, not just in the Ukraine, but with sanctions and everything else and people in 
Russia who have loved ones in the armed forces and Lord I just pray that they would be a move of God that Lord when we see darkness and we see dictatorship apparently descending once more upon that nation I pray for the light of the gospel to go forth and to touch and to change lives and bring a revival of biblical Christianity in Russia such as that nation has never seen before in Jesus mighty name amen thank you for praying with us and uh, please do join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.